Hey there, you're listening to the Serious Shift Blogcast. Half podcast, half blog, half video, and 100% serious shift. Three times a week, Dennis comes to you with insights and attitudes to help you shift. Each Serious Shift Blogcast is all about helping you and your business become the best versions of yourself. Are you ready to become the best? Now your host, Dennis Mostly Williams. Hi, this is Dennis, and welcome back once again to the Serious Shift Blogcast. I have a question for you. When you're planning, doing your strategic planning, do you anticipate reaching the point of failure, the point where you're going to want to quit? Uh, do you anticipate reaching that well before you've even approached it? And do you sort out for yourself how you're going to solve it and overcome that? I'll tell you a little story from earlier this week. I spoke at an event the Purpose Summit. Davin Salvegno, my friend from a firm called Purpose Point, invited me to speak at it. And uh, Davin had never organized any kind of conference ever in his life. So I'm at the reception the night before and he's pulled it off. And he's like, he's my hero. Like he has done it. He has never worked. He's never hosted a seminar. He dealt with all these logistics. Like, can you just imagine? So we're at the reception and I say, did you ever think of quitting? Which is my question I ask every entrepreneur because I'm always really curious about it, right? And just the look on his face was like, you know, like, did I ever think of quitting? Like, do you mean how many times did I think of quitting and for what, right? There can be, so this is why it's really critical that you learn from Davin and the rest of us as to how we overcome doubt. Because, you know, there's this point of failure somewhere between Let's use Davin as our example. Hey, I've got this fantastic idea. I'm going to have a whole seminar, a whole symposium, you know, over two days based on the idea of having a great purpose. And, you know, that's my idea. Isn't it great? And then in his, uh, and then the next thing he pictures is a full auditorium, a whole bunch of people transformed and happy and satisfied and saying, invite me back next year. I've got a great idea. And then he can imagine what it's going to be like the next year. But somewhere in the middle, there is this unknown point in time where absolutely everything worth doing, you will want to stop. People will frustrate you. The whole thing will frustrate you. You'll have little ideas, little voices in your head, your own voice, of course, saying, you should have never started. Then you'll whisper in your other ear saying, it's not too late to quit. Just quit right now. That's what happens when we get to the point of failure and we haven't got a strategy already to figured out to help us navigate around it. Is the point of failure hits, we feel doubt and doubt pushes the door open this much. To what? To plan B. Okay, I'll scale down my set, my symposium. I won't do it this year. I'll do it next year. I'll move the goalposts. I'll cheapen it. I'll water it down. Plan B. This is too hard. I'm going to quit. Okay, you can't. You can't quit. Because getting to the point of failure is everything. It's real. Take. Let's keep using Davin as an example. Well, it's easy to have the idea and it's easy to make a bunch of safe phone calls when you're not asking anybody for money. When you're not asking anybody to tell you anything other than whether or not they agree it sounds like a good idea. Trust me, you can call 10,000 people and ask them that question. Do you think this is a good idea? You'll have 10,000 people say, yeah, sounds great. Now call back those 10,000 people and say, hey, that idea you thought was great. Do you want to give me $100 to fund it? Uh, you're going to find it to- It gets a little trickier there. You got to get to the point of failure. The point of failure is like the last 10 push-ups. Just to use a simple example. Let's say you can do 50 push-ups. The first 40, you can do them without even thinking. That's just regular run-of-the-mill stuff to you. You're not, you're just literally thinking about Netflix. You're just doing them. But when you get to number 35, you start to feel it. Number 37, you're feeling it. 38 and 39, you're struggling. And at number 40, the lizard tells you to quit. Now it's really hard and challenging and difficult and and all the rest of it, right? Don't quit. Celebrate. You had to go through 40 push-ups just to get to the first one of the last 10 that do any good. Now is not the time to quit. That's how critical it is. That you have your strategy figured out for the point of failure before you ever get there. Or you'll literally leave the party just before it starts. There can be no growth, no accomplishment, no serious shift without first 
fighting through resistance. That's how you punch your ticket. That's the membership fee. It's not wanting it. It's not funding it. That's not what earns you a place at the table. Everybody who's ever done anything that's worth talking about, including being a really good mom, (laughs) figured out how to fight through the point of failure. That's what they did. And I'm going to tell you this. Don't rely on, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. No, no, no. Well, I guess I should say, yeah, you will. Yeah. But you'd be a lot wiser before you ever started to say this, hey, this bridge, what are we going to do when we get there? What are we going to do if we're too big to cross it, if the bridge isn't even there? What are all of the things that could potentially happen? How are we going to feel, empathize? How are we going to feel when we get there? What Today we all want to do this. Think Davin again. Okay, I'm going to try and pull this off. I got six months. The first three months are easy. Right there in that middle when I switch from month three to month four. When it gets real, how am I going to feel? Terrified? <laughs> Terrified? Full of self-doubt? You're going to feel like a fraud? Why am I doing this? I'm not the, what do I know about purpose? I'm not the guy to try and pull off this seminar. I should be attending seminars, not hosting seminars. If you're anticipating when you're going to fail long before you fail, and you're coming up with strategies for how you're going to navigate that resistance, you will succeed. I meet so many people that have amazing ideas and I say, good for you, you know, whatever. And they say, yeah, I got no money. And then they'll say, but if I could get the money, If I had the money, I could do it. Okay, ready? No, they won't. (laughs) No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't make it. And here's how I know. Getting the money is the easiest part of every entrepreneurial endeavor. It's just getting the money. All you have to do is believe in it, have it all figured out, and be persistent enough to continue to talk to people who do have money to persuade them to give you money. Oh, I have no credit, the bank. Well, there's this thing called Kickstarter. There's lots of people that like to invest in really great ideas. If you can't figure out how to get the money, the easiest part in the whole wide world, there is no way you're going to navigate the harder stuff. You know what's harder than getting the money? Navigating (laughs) self-doubt. If you can't go... Get somebody to, if you can't go secure financing, there's no way you'll be able to navigate self doubt. Change the way you strategically plan. Don't fear the point of failure. Aspire to it and celebrate it. Here ends the lesson for today, my friends. Have a really awesome day. And hey, Davin, speaking at your conference, brother, it wasn't just fun to present, I shifted myself. I learned some things that day, and I want to thank you for it. You're one of my heroes, my friend. Way to go. Everybody out there in blog land, have a wonderful day. It is always a pleasure to be seen by you. See ya. If you're looking to transform the way you and your business does, well, business, head over to SeriousShift.com and download our latest strategy guide, The Three Mega Trends. It will forever change how you view your place in the future. Thanks for listening and make sure to give Dennis a review anywhere you listen to your podcasts. See you next time.